Division Hello my dear friends Ready to start the last section Division Alrighty then Our first stop on the road to excellence in maths division is Dividing a double digit by a single digit Let's take 12 divided by 6 shall we? Division is written in a special way on the worksheet. The number to be divided is written to the right inside the inverted L-shaped line and the dividing number is to be written on the left side out of the line as seen here. So 12 divided by 6 is... Let's take the numbers from the left side first inside the inverted L. If we look at 1, it is less than 6, therefore we need to go to the next digit. Taking both the digits now, 12 is greater than 6. So 6 can be multiplied at least 1 times in a number whose value is more than 6. In this, 6 gives a 2, which means that there are two whole 6s in 12. Write 2 above the line and write the value of 6 times 2 below the number to be divided. We then get 12 minus 12, minus 12 which gives us 0. Well, it is because we need to find out if the number to be divided in this case can be completely divided by dividing number 6 without leaving any remainders. Rewind and go through the section to understand it well, folks. We can only proceed if we understand this part really well. Well, well, well. What next? Let's do something a little more complex. Let's divide 48 by 2. Starting from the left, how many 2's are there in 4? There are two 2's. So, 2 goes on top and that 2 multiplied into 2 gives 4. Write that below the 4. Now, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now we need to look at the new number that needs to be divided by 2. Bring the 8 down from the top and write it here. How many 2's are there in 8? There are 4 2's. Write 4 on the top and 8 below 8. Subtracting 8 from 8, we end up with 0, which is the remainder. So, the answer to 48 divided by 2 is 24 remainder 0. This means that there are 24 2's in 48. Goodness me, division is really something, isn't it? And you like it more as you practice it more. Next, let's divide 74 by 2. Starting from the left, 7 is not completely divisible by 2. The closest number is 2 3's are 6. So, 3 goes on the top and 6 below. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring the 4 down to get 14. 
Now, how many twos do we have in 14? We have seven twos. So, seven goes on top and 14 is written at the bottom to leave zero as a remainder. So, the answer to 74 divided by 2 is 37. La -dee -da! We're getting rather good at this, aren't we? Now, divide 237 by 3. How many 3's are there in 237? Starting from the left, 2 is smaller than 3. So, take the next digit, 2. Now, 23 cannot be completely divided by 3 without a remainder. 21 is the closest number. So, write 7 on the top because 3 7's are 21. Minus 21 from 23 to get the remainder 2. Bring the 7 down to get 27. Now, we need to divide 27 by 3. Yippee! 3 goes 9 times exactly in 27. So, write 9 at the top and 27 below to give a remainder of 0. The answer then to 237 divided by 3 is 79 as we heard earlier. Did you understand it now? If you didn't, replay this VCD to understand it better. In the next problem, we shall add a new level of complexity. We are in it together. Okay, so 705 will be divided by a double digit number, 15. So you need to know the 15 times table. Got it? Yeah, friends. So how many 15s are there in 70? Well, the closest we can get is 4 15s, which gives a total of 60. 4 goes on the top, 60 at the bottom. 70 minus 60 is 10 and bring down 5 to make 105. And what do you know folks? 15 times 7 is exactly 100 and 5. Write 105 down below with a remainder of 0. So, the answer to 705 divided by 15 is 47. Let's go a step further now and divide a four digit number by a two digit number. That is 7764 divided by 12. How many 12s do we get in 77? We get 12 into 6 is 72. 6 goes on top, 72 is written below it and the remainder is 5 which is 77 minus 72. Now, going step by step, bring down the next digit 6 to get 56. The closest number of 12s to 56 is 
12 times 4, which is 48. 4 goes on top. 48 is written at the bottom. And the remainder, 56 minus 48, is 8. For the last step, bring down the 4 to make 84. Hey, presto, my dear friends! 12 goes exactly 7 times to total 84. So, write 7 on the top, 84 at the bottom. 84 minus 84 gives a remainder of 0. So, the answer to 7764 divided by 12 is 647. No remainder. Goodness gracious me, isn't that a big number? Did we actually do it? Oh yes, we certainly did. But what would happen if there is a remainder? Let's see. Five hundred and fifty seven divided by seven. The closest number of sevens in fifty five is forty nine. Because seven times seven is forty nine. So seven goes in the top, like we did before, and forty nine is written below fifty five. The remainder of 55 minus 49 is 6. Bring down the 7 to get 67. How many 7s are there in 67? Uh oh! 7 times 9 gives us 63. But we still are 4 short of 67. 9 goes on top, 63 comes at the bottom, but 67 minus 63 gives us a remainder of 4. So here's the answer to 557 divided by 7 is... Hold your breath! Ta -da 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 -da. 79 remainder 4. Yes, folks, that's how we say it. 79 remainder 4. Remember, if you didn't understand any part of the VCD, then rewind and play it once again. Maths power! The choice is yours. <laughs>